You're watching the Jared Birmingham Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania. A gorgeous afternoon in the magic city of Birmingham, Alabama. Eight and five Memphis. Six and six Wake Forest. Two teams certainly thrilled to be here competing against each other and two high-powered offenses going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Start the quarterback position because an injury has allowed Jamie Newman to take over the reins. And really, this will be his fourth start, fourth career start. And he's been impressive in his first three. Very impressive. And he's willed his team to this point they're at today. He's played really well. He's done a great job of distributing the football, but he does it in multiple ways. He can run the football. He's 94 yards rushing the football over the last couple games as well. He has to have a big game today and help his team score tons of points versus the Memphis offense. We know that would do the same. Teams very similar. Both of them like to score. Both of them had defensive issues throughout the year. They've gotten better as the season has gone on. Inside handoff. First carry goes to Matt Cole. Going fast already. Temple is a big part of both these teams' offenses. Again, they'll go with Colburn, and he'll have the first down. On the year, Wake Forest, 43% on third down conversions, fifth in the ACC, and the pass over the middle is cost. It's a five, five and a half for Wake Forest, and they have been on one of those win one, lose one streaks the last month of the season, but good enough to get here to the bowl game. Bringing that out, not giving them a lane to run through, but big fourth down call here. Newman will throw. Pass is complete. Bachman spins out of trouble down the sideline. Inside the 10, knocked out of bounds around the 5. They'll say he stepped out at the 9. First to big fourth down. Slam. Touchdown. Wake Forest. Sage Surratt from nine yards away. Running back that you see around the country, he's bigger than most. White will throw. Wide side of the field. Pass is caught. Demonte Coxey. Well, it's first down and 10 for Memphis. This time they'll run it with Pollard. Sam Kraft, another guy that they can move around to the slot. Inside handoff, big hole up the middle. There goes Pollard. Touchdown Memphis, 41 yards. Not that I would do that. <laughs> I was sure did that one. <laughs> Newman had a solid first drive as Wake Forest took it 75 yards. Separated his shoulder and was missed another few games. I think that's why he's really played well with given the opportunity he's had to play. That one's incomplete on third down. Off the first and second team, which really were contributors. So to be here spoke volumes about how this team responded. Oh, that ball rolls out inside the one. Actually, they're going to spot it at the two. And to be here to have a bowl game to end their season on a high note is what he's really a proud of. Brady White will throw out of the end zone. Pass is caught. Nice spin move by John Williams. 91 tackles coming into the, se uh, into the season finale. Underneath route. First down and 10 for the Tigers. They'll stack receivers to each side, but they'll go inside handoff. And they'll go with Tony Pollard. White going up top. Goes into double coverage, and the pass is caught. Inside the 20 by Amante Coxey. What a grab between two black jerseys. All AAC performer getting it done. Pollard with a stutter step through the line, and he'll have three tight end package. A line up in the traditional eye formation. Now they'll split out. Empty set, white under center. Quick throw to Taylor. Touchdown. Creativity at the one-yard line, and Memphis out in front by six. Here's some heat from Memphis. Newman, far side, passes batted in the air, and incomplete. It's going to be tough for Pittsburgh going in there trying to get a win. Big hole off the right side. They beat us, but a uh, very good game. Again, not going to let it slide. Right? <laughs> Here comes some pressure from Wake Forest. And down goes Brady White. He is sacked. Legion Field, if you count the 1940 and 49 Dixie Bowls. 
Third down coming up, big play, and that one is picked off. The Tigers have a chance. Chris Claybrooks, touchdown, Tigers 37 yards. Just keep the defense rested. They've had to punt twice and then through the interception on their last three possessions, but they pick up the first down here. Out. The first, first down is the most critical, and now they can get into their offense. Pump fake to the near side, down the middle, had a man incomplete, looking for Sage Sherratt, and he was there. But you just got to give it to him. Put air on it or just find a way to give him the football. Come back over the middle, pass is caught. Big boy, 6'4", 230. He can handle his own in the run yeah. game now. He, he can handle a little pressure. Here he is breaking a tackle. And a chest right running right down the middle of the field because they have to add more guys to the box for the run game. Bringing some pressure here. Newman gets the pass away and it is dropped. And it's good with nothing. Couple of punts and an interception. Actually, the interception was a pick six. There goes Pollard, an electrifying return man. Touchdown, Memphis, 97 yards for Tony Pollard. Newman, 7 of 15, 88 yards, a touchdown and a pick six. Wake Forest, 3 of 8 on third downs. Newman to throw. Coming near side, pass is caught. Still on his feet. The versatility he brings to this offense is going to help Newman as well as Wake Forest. Newman keeps it to midfield. On second and third down, when you have the chance to be good on first down, run the ball. Newman keeping it himself, and he will. Close relationship with the guys on defense, and he felt like he owed him to stay around for the bowl game and coach him up. There goes Kendall Hinton dancing around. He'll have a first down. Uh, but an opportunity at Northern Arizona to be the head coach, and he said just couldn't pass it up. Here's Newman, big hole. He's to the 15, to the 10, and dropped around the eight-yard line. Pass is caught by Colburn, and he'll be just shy. They'll spot him at the one-yard line. You got a big receiver down here at the bottom. And save Surratt. Newman will keep it. Dive for the end zone. He's in. The hands went up. Memphis thought he might have fumbled it, but it's a touchdown for Wake Forest. Direction, so might have got away with one there. Third down and ten. Here's White rolling left, throwing, and incomplete. Those are going to be some fun ones to watch. Newman, little play action, flag comes down, going over the middle, pass is caught inside the 20-yard line by Scotty Washington. 19th catch of the year for Scotty Washington, the redshirt junior. Newman keeps it, runs left, and he'll get it to the 10, breaks the tackle to the end zone. What a run for Jamie Newman, 17 yards. bigger than here on third down. On third and six, four-man rush. Brady White in trouble, and he'll be dropped. And a good defensive series for Wake Forest. Well, fake. They will throw, and it is incomplete. Memphis bench thought there might have been some early contact. Bachman down here at the bottom. They'll run it on the ground and they'll get it to the 35. So Bachman's down in the slot. Newman stands in the pocket. Caught. They will spot it at the 29. Actually, they're going to say incomplete now. Wake Forest offense thinks incomplete it's a catch. Pass. Ball goes over on down. I think what it, 
when he rolls over. That's close, but here's the look right here. Watch the ball between his legs as he starts to roll over. There's the look right there. Looked like the ball may have hit the ground, but never looked at it. Well, here's Brady White as Memphis will play on. Close call. Then. Here's Brady White going up top. Has a man. DeMonte Cooksey. Inside the 15-yard line. Is a receiver went out of bounds on his own, returned and was first to touch the ball. By rule, that is illegal touching. The down count at the previous spot be third down. You see Coxley's down here at the bottom. Oh, he absolutely steps out of bounds. Three-man rush. Forces White out of the pocket. Still nowhere to go, and he's dropped. Cameron Glenn. So that'll do it for the first half. We thought we'd have some points. We certainly got that. 28-24, Memphis out in front. Time for us to get it to the studio and add Nanver. On the first drive for both teams to get a couple first downs and move these chains. This Memphis offense. Averaging 43 and a half points a game, and that one is picked off at the 45 of Memphis by Demetrius Kim, the senior linebacker, with his first interception in about. But boy, Chris Ball, the defensive coordinator, is running out of defensive front guys. Yeah, it's going to be linebackers and everybody playing D line in a minute. And Wake Forest going to run right at that defensive front on third down and. Once you cross midfield, it's a lot of four down opportunities. And you see it now, going fast, trying to catch Memphis running around. They do catch him moving around. And a flag comes in. Was that a false start against Wake Forest? Left tackle. Offense number 73. Five-yard penalty. End over end kick. That will hit. And oh, is it saved? Yes, it is. What a job by Wake Forest special teams. So now. Brady White will line up in his end zone. Out of the shotgun and quick throw. Caught by the tight end. See if they find Joey a little bit here. They'll go inside, handoff. Kind of eases his mind after the interception last series. Memphis rushing for 285 on the year. A throw for 248. We'll throw it here, and the pass is caught. That'll be a first down at the 26 by Devontae. And he follows the football really well, makes a big play, but big third down play here for Memphis. Four-man rush on third down. The pass is incomplete. Open back in 1992 and gets more than 150,000 visitors a year. Newman going up top. Catch is made around the 30-yard line by Alex Bachman. What a throw and catch for Wake Forest. Coming out with a huge catch. Newman pump fake, pressure comes and he's dropped. Pressure comes, Wake picks it up. Bachman makes the catch, he gets it back to the 30, close to the original line of scrimmage, so now it's. And he's got it, a new career long. A story that certainly has ended as well as it possibly could have. High throw incomplete, trying to hit Pop Williams in. But here's the thing, DJ, and I think you're a great person to talk to this because you had to wait. You waited your Georgia career to play as a senior. And Newman, who's playing as a redshirt sophomore, picks up that first down. But You can't have any regrets once you... Once you figure that out, you got to go. Well, it looks like Memphis was late getting a player off the field. They will hand it off on third down. Between 42 47, he's not 100% confident about his kicking game, so they go for it a lot on fourth down, but his guy just made a 49 yarder. Newman dancing his way, and did he get enough for the first down? And they will. He left earlier as well. All three starting defensive linemen. Here goes Colburn. He breaks out of the pack. 
They've scored 20 unanswered points. Five-man rush. Newman hit from behind as he throws. It's incomplete. He's hit from 36 and 49. Kick is on the way, and it, it is dead solid perfect. Memphis second half drives have resulted in four punts and an interception. They've totaled 66 yards leading to this drive. White flush, lofts it up, and that one close to being picked off. Tigers will punt. Adam Williams, one of his busiest days of the year. This one will hit at the five. Can they stop it? Oh, it spins back. Little stutter step. Now has 1,000 yards this season. Averaging just shy of five and a half per carry. Now swinging out to Carney, and he's out over the 30. Memphis, if you can have a big time play here throwing the football down the field. Newman, 19 of 36, throwing the football today. Pressure comes. He is dropped at the 35, and that Memphis defense stands tall. They're going to line up with Taylor at tailback. They will toss it to Taylor, and he'll get it out to the 20. White has some time to throw. Wide open receiver pass is caught. And now this Memphis offense is picking up his tempo. Nice little fake there for White to get that one free. Wide open receiver, and he missed him. Not a chance anybody's going to be able to catch that football. It's one he's going to see in his dreams. Inside handoff to Taylor. He drives his way. Is a question. Does he sit back and plug zone coverage? It looks like Wake Forest is in zone. White spinning around, finding some room. Will throw. They're going to say incomplete, trying to hit Antonio Gibson. Quarterback Brady White, fourth down and six. Quick slant, hits Coxey. He dives for it. He may have it. Second down and ten. They'll shovel it out to Pollard. Pollard takes it to the 25-yard line. He gets eight yards. Pollard again will turn the corner first down at the 20. Playcock all the way down. Taylor handoff. He's inside the 10 down to the 9. That'll be another first down. Snap it with 120 on the clock. They give it to Taylor. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown Memphis. Back out in front. And Memphis will line up Tony Pollard behind quarterback Brady White in the pistol formation. White to throw over the middle, and that one is picked off, and Wake will try to run it out of the end zone. Chuck Wade, a former receiver. He's got some room. He's got some blockers. Can he get the two points the other way? Oh, dropped at the 25-yard line by Joey Magnifico. The slant. That one's caught by. He signaled the slant to Bachman to get him going. Good first play. Newman. Nowhere to run in that pocket. It collapses and down he goes. Jackson Dillon, the sixth year senior who has battled through three injuries, some bad things in life. And when football's over, my man's going to go ranch some cattle. He's trying to ranch some Demon Deacons right now, but there's Bachman. He's to the 25, down to the 21-yard line and out of bounds. T.J. Carter on the coverage, but Bachman picks up 49. That's a big-time throw under pressure. Bachman coming down with it. Going to the end zone. Surratt had it and lost it. Newman has a big opportunity here to be the hero. Back shoulder throw, caught by Bachman. They'll spot him at the one. 35 seconds to play. 
if I'm calling the play. Newman keeps it left side. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Talk about who wanted to be the hero in this ball game. Alex Bachman obviously was a big time part of that drive. But how about Jamie, Jamie Newman in his fourth start? Little squib kick will be picked up and fielded by Memphis. They'll get it out to the 40 yard line. It was going in the other direction, but you got to wonder if it comes down to it, does that creep back into the mind? Three man rush. White looking for somebody to get open. He's going to go deep, has a man at the 29-yard line. Joey Magnifico with the catch, still on his feet inside the 20. Oh, my goodness. They're trying to win it now. They'll hand it to Taylor, and he goes nowhere. To try to get a big completion, you still got a timeout in your pocket. They'll throw it here. Back shoulder throw, that one is incomplete. I see no flags. He is 15 of 19, he'll have to wait a moment. They're gonna get it to the middle of the field. They probably saw the same thing you saw, DJ, and a 43-yard attempt. Plenty of leg. He missed it! Wake Forest! wins the Jarrett Birmingham Bowl. And there is Jamie Newman, our Capital One player of the game. How about his numbers? 328 throwing the football, 91 yards on the ground, including those three rushing touchdowns.